What vegetables are worth logging the calories for? Carrot, sweet potato? Yeah, you guys know that most vegetables are considered free foods and we don't log the calories for those. But there are some vegetables, like the starchy ones, yeah. that do count. Carrots, I don't necessarily count because I don't eat so much of them. Yeah, like, like the amount is small enough. If you wanted to really dial it in, I would say yes. Yeah. But I personally, in my experience, have never logged carrots. Yeah, and like when I was doing fitness competition and stuff, I wouldn't have carrots on my menu. And if I did, I would have logged them and I would have probably used them as a sweet potato replacement, but I would usually choose sweet potato instead. Yeah. That is one that you also Definitely. do log. So potatoes. Um, pot yeah, white potatoes for sure. And um, that's else? really like the only well, one. Well, other types of squash, like a winter squash or yeah, butternut honestly, squash. Yeah, honestly, I've never logged that either for, for like... Yeah, but you don't eat it daily. No, I don't. But if I was yeah. and I was tracking for a week just to yeah. check where I am, I probably wouldn't. But once yeah. again, if you really want to get it dialed in, then yes. For squash, I would do it. Just think of all like starchy root type vegetables. Yeah. Things that grow in the ground, I think are the ones that you're gonna log. Like we said, if it's not something you're eating every single day and you're not eating a ton of it, then I wouldn't worry about it. But if it is like a staple and it makes up a big portion of your plate, then yes, I would count it. Yeah. You can now get access to all our workout programs, recipes, and meal plans inside our workout app. Try it for free today. Link in the description. Now let's get back to the episode. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I